I don't care how many times I see it um, going live to a countdown. It's so hilarious. It makes me feel like I got a whole production staff. If you want to hear in the background these little small cracklings, that's because I'm cooking real quick. I uh, just wanted to saute some uh, red snapper. Yes, she cooks. Uh, so, I am Uptown Philly. I am your girl. Uh, Steph Maddox. I am publicly known everywhere as Uptown P-H-I-L-L-I-E. -P and my rantings this week um, are about engaging. So I know people come on here and after I cut, get off, I get a lot of inboxes and um, after quotes and texts and things like that. And I appreciate it. Trust me, I appreciate it. <laughs> I appreciate it all. It means that you actually got into the conversation, you understood what I was saying, and you understood um, that I was trying to get through. So I understand that. Um, but the next time you watch a video, even if it's not mine, it could be anybody's. Kevin Hart's, I don't know, somebody who goes live. King, somebody who goes live that you really wanted to see and you really want to talk to. Instead of having these talk at these people when they actually are engaging you back um to talk with them have a conversation the difference between hey bam how are you the difference between <laughs> um having a conversation on here and having a conversation on periscope a lot of people who are on periscope um, are used to having that back and forth exchange in that conversation and a lot of people who are on uh Facebook Live now that they are not on Periscope or if they have made the transition to Periscope, a lot of people had that conversation. Hey, Grace, how are you? Grace is my Periscope buddy. She has been with me on Periscope for a little bit over a year now. I know they had their one anniversary. Hey, Tavorn. So, um, on Periscope, it is a little different. I noticed that when I'm on Periscope because of, I guess, ad names and things like that, um, I kind of like tend to like sing your name when it comes on screen. It's just my Periscope thing. On here, I don't as much, but on Facebook, I use Facebook for networking almost strictly. So uh, there is a little bit of interaction, um, but it's not as much interaction as if I was. Um, so Grace, I think you can attest to this. The conversation piece when it comes to Periscope is a lot different than it is on here. Um, I do like having the little ticker in the side that tells me how long I've been on when I'm on Facebook Live. I don't know that that makes a difference to you as to what you're doing it for, but for me, it really keeps Facebook business. Um, so that's kind of the difference between the two. Um, that's the biggest difference. And until people go into the interaction, hey, Jaquita, how are you, sweetheart? Um, until they actually get into the exchange of actually saying stuff to people and actually having and engaging in a conversation. Um, sometimes it's a little disappointing to a broadcaster, especially if the broadcaster is from um, Periscope. And they were that was their main audience. They were going back and forth. I'm hesitant about SFB Live. I still haven't gotten an update. So I'm still waiting. Okay, so... Since you um, haven't gotten an update, I think you'll see what I'm talking about as far as live is concerned. You're also, when you get on here, when you do live, um, Grace, you're, you're talking to more of the people who have seen you every day in a day-to-day -day thing. And I guess that's more of the hesitation that you don't want them to see the actual character. I'm the actual character no matter where you meet me, so... Um, it's kind of okay for me to be Uptown Philly no matter where I am because I'm always going to be Uptown Philly. Um, I'm, you know, and, it, you know, they kind of surmise <laughs> me being Steph Maddox and, and Uptown Philly being the same kind of person and thing. So I don't really have that problem. Um, I've changed a lot of things that I've done because FB Live videos were so nervous and, oh, I don't know if I could do this. And everybody was like, dude, you can so do this. <laughs> but um, that is my challenge to you this week. So next time you get on somebody's FB Live, especially if they're doing it and they're not quite sure what they're going to be doing it for, some people might just revert back and then just do videos and post them. I know I saw Lex Royal, who's a friend of mine. She's 
pretty much just big social ma maven on here. Um, she does he, she does videos and she's gone live. She feels more comfortable with recording and this, that, and the third and going back and forth. That's fine. I mean, you, you're going to find what makes it right for you. Um, I finally saw somebody join. Hi, Carlton. How are you? So, um, normally I don't use hi. I say hey, but, you know, that's my thing. Um, but have your thing when it comes to certain places. No, it's not being a being used to the response and delay, but I'm excited for it. Okay. Hey, David, how are you? I'm sorry, I was not exactly in your um, live, but I appreciated your live. What's up, man? How are you? Um... So, Man is one of my football players. Why do I announce them when they come in? And my football players are <laughs> Man and uh, Bam play football for the Philadelphia Panthers. If you are so inclined, you can go like the Philly Panthers page. I sent out invites today to a Poetic Conversationalist. Um, that would be the page that I admin with Dom Scene. Thank you. Love you too. Um, and that would be the page I admin with Domicine. This will probably be the only thing that I do that I have done on a regular basis right now. You're good. That's good. I'm glad. You disappeared when I saw you Saturday. I was going to talk to you, but I don't know where you were. I don't know what was going on. Whatever, whatever. Um, I was in the car running my mouth, and then by the time I got out the car, I couldn't see you. Um, so... Um, I think that, uh, you know, this is the, f this is probably the only kind of videos. Bam, go pay you watch. <laughs> Bam! It, yeah, oh, okay. So, um, <laughs> so, that was my tip for you for this week is to engage. I'm so glad maybe more people are getting used to me doing this on here. You guys engaged this week. I appreciate that. But that is what my challenge is to you. Because it does make a, a broadcaster feel a lot better when you can engage with people. I know way more people on FB than a Periscope. Right. Well, they don't always interact with you because they're not used to what, uh, what you're doing on Periscope. But sometimes I think you... On Periscope, when you when you talk back and forth, you get that engagement in that conversation. <laughs> you get that conversation that you don't necessarily get on Periscope if you've never seen it before. The little box comes up with your name and then your and then your whatever you're saying it comes on the bottom. Normally, it depends on what the subject is and what the topic is. I don't always read what comes up on the screen, but I engage with the people who come in, and it's a, it's a flowing conversation. If there's not a flowing conversation. <laughs> If there's not a flowing conversation, then I don't engage, um, and I don't read the whole entire, um, I don't read the whole entire comment. It doesn't always have to be that way. Just like, man, just commented just now, I'm not going to read that, but, <laughs> but if you are doing that on Periscope, then sometimes it's for your replay viewers, and sometimes it doesn't you know, translate well. But it depends on your topic, whether that makes sense. Because sometimes in Periscope, we talk to each other because we know people who come into their room, so we speak to each other. And we actually have conversations on top of the conversation that's being held. I mean, sometimes it happens. It's not always... It's 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 not even seen as a disrespect thing on, on Periscope. It's just something that comes... Whatever, I ain't saying it either. Ba Kibu, another um, player... He's got jokes right now. I'm not reading that. Um, so, so I wanted to make sure that I gave you guys the difference between Periscope and Go Live because a lot of people know that I do both. Um, and I have a following on both. And it, just because you have a following does not mean necessarily that you're going to get people into your room at the time. Like, I've got 20 viewers right now, which is great. This is awesome. Like, this is awesome. However... Um, you could have, I have over a thousand viewer, uh, subscribers on Periscope. I don't ever get, don't get blocked, neither one of y'all. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I have a thousand, of, a thousand people that, that follow me on Periscope. I don't ever get a thousand people in my room, because not everybody's in there at the same time. But your replay comes a lot faster and a lot quicker on Facebook Live than it does when you're on Periscope. Not everybody catches your replay, not everybody wants to catch your replay, and sometimes that's not even the reason why you're on there. You know what I'm saying? 
um, you don't always want to catch the replay. But if you're doing it for business, then your replay is awesome. And then your replays, you can upload them to YouTube. I never thought catch was going to be a good thing, Grace, if you're still in here. I never thought catch was going to be a good thing. You have to pull now your stuff off of catch dot net or whatever it was in order to now put them on YouTube I personally am going to go straight to YouTube and for the record y'all not related he's African I can't with you I'm glad I was able to get this notification on my home phone like Periscope yes now that is the other thing if you subscribe to it then periscope and snapchat is big brother <laughs> everything is big brother if you don't think they're paying attention to you do you even hear your coach when he talks uh catch went bankrupt yeah well catch probably did go bankrupt because i think that was the dumbest idea in ever these are people who don't have money anyway going on to periscope and then you want them to actually go on to periscope and then upload their stuff to you and what are you doing you're just rerunning it rerunning their stuff like for free that's like dumb they just want to build their facial recognition database that's funny catch i never did catch um and then so the things that i'm going to upload to youtube exactly because it's free now periscope is going to be free too however there's going to be certain people that use it i mean there's certain people that use both venues and then it's you know what i'm saying like it's not it's interactive and it is what it is um, but you're going to have people who use it that are going to make people download and go to different, you know what I'm saying? So, like, Periscope knew what they were doing and they picked up certain people because they knew certain people were going to go live. That was the attraction. Now they can make money off of it because they knew certain people were going to bring it up, you know, bring it up as far as making you want to get on it. Um, so, I'm sure that the people that are on it now, your friends. This, you see why I did, football takes so much out of my life. Um, so, anyway, so anyway, I appreciate everybody who came in and watched me. I went to 12 minutes. You guys know I try to keep this within five. But once, as you can see, if you are interacting with people, then you can go longer because you're actually interacting with the people and you're actually having a conversation with the people that you're talking to. Um, and then make sure you share live broadcasts. Sharing live broadcasts on here might mean that you're sharing it with a group. There are some things that you actually do have. Oh, uh, y'all funny. Um, there's some, actually some things that you do have that you bring to um, certain groups that you have. I have groups that I share certain things to. And I think that's because the conversation applies to that group. A lot of things that I have... Um, technically, yes, it is Kibu since I want to answer your question. Um, so I'm sure FB Live is going to grow as much as Periscope does. I miss the hearts, though. Yes, I do too. You know what? Listen, so I'm watching and Gozi last night, and I hit the screen and I forgot I was not on Periscope. And I'm like, oh, so all I could really do is share it. And I was like, dude, this is so not like, that was the fun thing to me about Periscope. But I mean, Hey, it is what it is. So yeah, that's the one thing about Periscope that I do miss and going live. Right. I might hit the screen. I was on dumb right then. And I was like, Oh, I hit the shut up. Kibu. I hit the, I hit the screen and I lost everything. So I was like, dude, so anyway, so my tip is over. I appreciate the conversation. <laughs> I appreciate the conversation and you guys coming in. Um, if you need, if you um, are so inclined, please go um, find my pages. I have Uptown Philly's Life Hacks. I have uh, Poetic Conversationalist Philadelphia Panthers. I have LCFL East and doom, doom, doom. oh, Dom Dada. Ha! Um, so all those pages are in my bio, um, somewhere, um, and you can, or you can just Google them and find them on, on Periscope, but as far as my pages are concerned, I'm the admins for all of them. I'm also the admin for a couple of other pages, but I don't promote them as much. Um, I know I'm Jordan Elise. I am an admin for Jordan Elise. Uh, she is a little girl that, um, has overcome heart, congenital heart problems. 
so she's on my page somewhere too her mother's name is crystal daly she's an amazing woman um so if you are so inclined and go follow grace elise potts she is one of my favorites yes dom daughter inc um yes that is my <laughs> that is the company that i work for under damascene pierre paul and that is also who i admit admin um poetic conversationalist with if you are so inclined and you do want to see his uh the interview that i did with him about him meeting prince please please do please do i'm so wanting to that to go viral because i so think my uh my my big cat needs um recognition um hey april so i so believe my big cat needs recognition for the things that he has done in his life and i hope that he is open to more conversations like that he's promised me that he would putting him on the spot in five four three two i'm gonna get a phone call anyway so i appreciate you guys coming over here i appreciate it if you like this video you can share you can like make sure that you you know check in with me on mondays and get the check in and see what i'm talking about um i don't know where that dance came from that just was all out of nowhere anyway but i appreciate you guys peace out